Hello viewers, how are you all? Welcome back to another video. Guys, in this video we are going to learn how we can do API testing using C Sharp and SpecFlow. In this we won't use much of a SpecFlow. It is just a initial state, beginning state like how we can get the request and get the how we can get the response. So we'll be using mostly this request.in you can see the sample responses which we have. If you have seen my JMeter videos for JSON assertions and all, I have used this. So if you add this endpoint to this request.in, we will get the response 200, what it is shown here. So let me copy this. So let me paste here and I will put equal to. You can see I have got the response. We will try to mimic the same thing using we using C sharp. So for that guys, let, let me create a simple project console app.tet framework. So next, so I'll just write simple API to uh, let the framework be .tet 4.7.2. So not an issue. Let me click on create. So let, let it create the project. Two things we have to add mainly. So we have to add a new code package of REST API. Now as you can see on the screen, simple API project has been created. Now we have to add a simple new code packages. So let me right click on simple API, manage new get. I have to click on browse. Let's see, REST shop should be there. Let it search. So, so I'm adding this rest shop client. Let me click on it. Let me install it. I want the latest stable version. So you can see in the logs it is trying to install rest shop 108.0.1. So I want everything to be installed. So I'll click on OK. So you can see here it is getting installed. So many packages are there as you can see on the screen and one more thing we want we want we want newton soft json to see the json responses let me add new done newton soft json the first one let me click on this install the latest stable version yeah install this so now that's so now we got all the new get packages so let me go to the program to get any request and response, first we have to add a client. For the client, guys, uh, we'll add where client rest client rest client. See, you can see here I'm getting a red uh, line, so I have to resolve this. So, so automatic suggestions will come up, so it will start suggesting. So I have to add using rest sha. If I import this package, so I will not be getting any issues. So once I have done that, in the rest client, what I have to add? As, as I've shown you, this is my URL. This is my URL. HTTPS is my protocol and a from API is my endpoint. So to copy this, I have to paste this in my REST client. Let me copy and let me paste it. Now, so I have to, I have got a client. Now I have to go get a request body. In the request body, first thing I will use request equal to new REST request. See, it is automatically suggesting me. So I click on tab. I will click on double tab to accept. Here, I have to add my endpoint. So what is my endpoint here? So let me add it here. API from API is my endpoint. See here, this is my endpoint. Uh, let me put a semicolon at the end. Now. So I've got a, uh, I have got a protocol. I've got a URL. I've got a endpoint. Now I have to 
download in such a way that I have to tell the C sharp, right? Download it in a JSON format. So I have to add a formatting also. Before that, here you can add a method. You can see here method. Why method? Which method I have to add? So normally this one is a get method. If you open here, the users which we have taken is a get method. So we have to add a get. So we have taken URL and we have taken a endpoint. Now, as I have told, I have to add a header. So let me re add a request dot. You can see many methods. I have to add add a header. So if I open that method, you can see two things are there: string name and string value. What is the name here? Name is accept comma. Up to comma here. And it should accept application slash JSON. This is the request which it has to accept. It is all automatic suggesting me content type is application slash JSON, but I don't need that. Let me add request dot request format equal to. So data format dot JSON. I need a formatting which is data format dot JSON. Now, so I've got all the ingredients. Now what I have to do, I have to just execute it, right? So let me write, let's see rest response. So I'll write response. So equal to, so client dot here we have to execute. So what we have to execute? We have to execute the request. So here in this line, we are exactly executing the request. So now let me add the content. Content equal to so I have a response. See already suggested response dot content. So now what I'll do, I want to, I want to write this content. So I'll write console dot write line of content, console dot write line of content. Then I'll do it's use, I'll use control console dot read key. What read key does? Obtains the next character or function key pressed by the user. The pressed key is displayed in the console window. I want it to be displayed in the console window. So I'll put true. Okay. So now let me execute this. Let me put semicolon at the end. Now I want to build this response. So let me start using this one. Build it. So the output should be added to my command prompt. So command prompt has opened now. So build got succeeded. So now you can see the response. So let me open my. So let me tally this one, right? Um, let me add it here. Okay, so now we have got so we got the entire response. So that's it for the video, guys. If you like the video, please click on like. If you're a new viewer, please click on subscribe. Till then, guys, take care. Have a great day. Bye bye.